in today's video, I farm as hard as possible and try to send the biggest ZMG rushes of all time on round 30, guys, with the new group ZMG send. However, my opponent actually has preemptive strike, so let's see how this plays out. All right, here we go, guys. We are on the map Mayan today with the strategy Science Gwendolyn, Ice, Tack, and Farm. And this is going to be a really fun one against Mr. Felden here because the goal with today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is I want to send the biggest rush ever in Boons 2 Bows 2. And this strategy, you can greed like crazy, farm like crazy, so it's going to work out pretty well because this strategy works really well in mine in specific due to the fact that tax spots are amazing ice spots are amazing and you can fit so many farms in the map there's like the whole area of the map is farm space basically so yeah it should be good here but mr felden looks like they're starting with the dartling here so cool there dartling is definitely a really good tower especially on this map that you have a really good, good like dartling line of fire there so it'll be interesting how this game goes i don't i think i can greet for a farm though i don't think i need to go for blade shooter yet so i'm, I'm gonna go for my Dude, I lagged and <laughs> I lagged. I, I meant to place the farm in the corner. The farm placed like up in the corner, uh, up a little bit. That's, that's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I have been lagging recently as well. I don't know if it shows in the video, but literally, like, whenever I'm playing now, like every five seconds or so, there's like a little lag spike. And I don't know how to fix it. I really don't know how to fix it. So if you guys have any suggestions in the comment section down below, please let me know on that one. It's been happening like nonstop last day and a half. So. It's been kind of annoying to be honest with you guys. It's been a bit annoying, but we're we're working through it. Working through it. Let's get my blade shooter up here. There we go. We should be firing against these yellow balloons now. And looks like they have farm as well with normal Benjamin. Okay, they got normal Benjamin there as well. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll start saving up for my greater production farm. And I know most of the time you do want to place your tax shooter up here at the very top, but the reason why we are not doing that today is because again I want to send the biggest Russian. Stolen the rounds is going to allow me to um, send a bigger rush basically. So. That's why I'm placing my tax shooter more towards the back, even though in most cases you don't want to place your tax shooter here with the farm stretch, you know what I'm saying? Just in this case, when we're trying to stall rounds, this is the best for us here. But yeah, I think I'll go for my Gwendolyn maybe like round five or so. The thing is you want the Gwendolyn down for um you want the Gwendolyn for yellow rushes, because the cocktail is really good for that. But you don't really need it before then. And if you place your Gwendolyn on round five, I think you get the ability on round seven there. So that's kind of like the timing. That works out. Okay, they already went for their powerful darts there as well, so I don't need to send them any... Um, Let's actually go for my faster firing attack shooter here, but I don't need to send them any white balloons because they already have the faster firing there. Even faster firing, we should be good against their whites. Yep, we are absolutely fine right there. Beautiful, beautiful. And we'll get the increased production and everything here in a little bit. Yes, sir. I think everything is going pretty well so far for us so far. Pretty well. I wonder what strategy he's... I'm guessing it's definitely ninja or super here. Those are like the two towers I'd expect. I guess it could be Spactory as well with Dartling Farm. But Ninja or Super, I think, is probably the most likely, most likely composition that they're bringing here. Now that I already have two of these up, I think I might go for a Banana Plantation, actually. That could be a little bit fun, to get a Banana Plantation rolling. Or actually, no, I should probably just go for my Gwyn. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go for my Gwyn real quick. And I did place in time, so I got the leveling. That's great. And then I'll save up for the Plantation here. Plantation Nation. That's what they call me, dude. They call me the Plantation Nation. All right. So he's sending me white balloons, which is interesting. I never don't send white balloons over black balloons because black balloons are actually better efficiency than white balloons and they send faster. So they're better in like both the ways that eco is better and you know what I mean? So black balloons always over white balloons and that's like they have like only ice towers or something. You know what I mean? And then white balloons obviously are going to be better. But yeah, they have sub. Ooh, that's really interesting. Okay. Now... Submarine and Dartling, they are going to struggle against DDT rushes, but again, that's not really the plan of today's video. I want to send them like a humongo j jumbo bungo ZMG rush later in the game, so that's going to be the plan. That's the plan for me. Round 9 rolls around. I think we're fine so far. We're going to just keep farming on. I'm going to marketplace as well, I think, before I even get an ice tower. We're going to be like really greedy with farms here, guys. They already went for a, what, a triple guns? Oh my gosh, this guy is going in on his defense right now. Our farms are insane though, and we already have like 750 eco as well. We actually are in a really good spot financially speaking, guys. And you know your boy Ryan is in finance for college, so I, I know a lot about financials, boys. I know a lot about financials. Alright, if he sends me like a big purple rush, I pretty much die. No, I just gotta put late mouse charm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding with you guys. Or I can get this um embrittlement up here in a second. There we go. Beautiful. And now we just farm on. I think that's pretty much all the eco we want to go for. Well, I do want to max out the blue balloon eco real quick because blue balloons are really nice to eco with. And I know, guys, I could send them a million rushes right now, but that's not the plan. That's not the plan. I'd, hopefully, this guy lets me farm really hard because if they send me a bunch of rushes, that's going to slow down my farms as well. But I just want to farm as hard as humanly possible here. Okay, looks like he's ecoing. That's good. That's good. 
I think we just stop ecoing there right, right now, guys. I think we just stop ecoing. We chill a little bit. We sit back, relax, and we wait. And then once I get about $8,000 to go to Central Market on the map, because I can sell one of these and get it. He's sending me one of those. I should be fine there. Yeah, we look like we're fine. Okay. I could have boosted or something if I really needed to, but it doesn't look like it was necessary. I clicked sell. Come on, please. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, our farms are really good right now. This is round, that, th we had these ra farms in, the, in around 15, guys. Hopefully, we'll get like around 19 Monkey Wall Street or something. That's going to be the goal here. Round 19 Monkey Wall Street would be fantastic in route to farm, I think. Round 19 Monkey Wall Street is what we're aiming for here, guys. And I can also like sell some defense. Well, I barely have any defense. What am I saying? I was going to say I could sell some defense for the Monkey Wall Street too when that time comes around, but my defense on the map is pretty minimal at the moment, so I don't think we could sell much, you know what I'm saying? All right, looks like we're finding us all this. If he sends me a mob next round, I think I honestly just get up a tax sprayer and boost. I, I've got to be as greedy as humanly possible here. I can stuff, so. I have to defend as minimally as possible. Let's get the central market up, though. Nice work. We have two of those up, so we'll go for one more marketplace as well. One marketplace. And then, one, how much will these sell for? Well, let's get the marketplace up first, so then I know the sell value of everything. Perfectly fine. And then we'll be pretty solid. Okay, so this sells for 14.5k, 19k roughly. So that sells for about 23,000. So we need 19,500. Or if I sell my Brittleman as well, we need 15,500. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll get round 19. I think round 19 is definitely doable. I don't think round 18 is doable here. Even with selling this. Well, I still need more money. Yeah, I still need about 4k more. I think this round's going to end here pretty soon anyways. Unfortunate. Round 18 is not possible, but round 19 is definitely possible here. 100%. We're just get another texture down real quick just to be prepared for the worst. But hope for the best, you know the saying, guys. Looks like they're going for, what, another farm? Nice. He has pretty good farms as well. They have pretty good farms, not going to lie. Not going to cap. And then at the end of this round, the end of the round is signified, I think, by ceramics. Yep. Let's just boost. There we go. We get that up. Beautiful. I don't know if the, the boost was probably not needed, to be honest with you guys. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay, that was a little bit scary. That was a little bit scary, to be honest. We're good, though. We're good. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy is relentless. I could just use the Gwyn 10 ability. There we go. We're good against that. Alright. This guy just sends all the region rainbows in the world today, dude. Oh my lord. I just need to keep farming. I need to keep farming up. Our farms are absolutely amazing right now, by the way. So, I go for one more central market. And then after, well, actually need to do this placement so bad. I might sell this and replace it in all honesty, because I want to fit more. Eh, no, we're not going to sell and replace it. I'd lose too much money doing that. I'd lose too much money doing that. They sell for about 30,000. Okay, so we're almost there. I can sell these now. I'll get the 10,000 at the end of the round from my Monkey Wall Street. I get the Banana Central up. We're vibing. Looks like they got their around 24 Monkey Wall Street. I already have two fifth tier farms, mind you, so... This out farm, ladies and gentlemen, is looking crispy today. All right, let's get up a little ice tower right here, which I can upgrade to. Um, we'll get this up to cryo cannon and stuff later. But it looks like we're fine at the moment. In case they camel rush me, I need something for camel rushes. You know what I'm saying? Well, I also have the Gwyn abilities and stuff, so I'm pretty solid, I think. The Gwyn abilities can't hit camels, by the way, guys. If you didn't know that, Gwyn abilities can hit camel balloons. All right, we got that farm up as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Fortified ceramics should be no issue with our current defense. We'll just keep farming up the storm here. Now against DTs, I don't want to actually go for an impale if he sends me DTs. I should be fine with just some overdrives and um Gwinten ability and stuff. Because the overdrives do so much damage against them, especially if they're embrittled. So let's make sure we get another embrittlement right there. Real quick. And we can get some um tax shooters over here as well. And that should be fine against DTs, especially with the Gwyn ability. I don't need an impale for DTs, guys, with the strategy. Did not need an impale for DDTs. All right, we'll keep farming on like Donkey Kong. Ooh, did I misplace that? I should be able to fit three in a row. Awesome. Keep fitting these farms in there. Should be able to fit another one down right there. Beautiful. 
And I guess I could fit another one where my Gwendolyn is, but I don't want to sell my Gwendolyn, obviously, to make farm space. I already have more farm space on the map, so we'll just we'll just chill with it how it is at the moment. We'll just take a chill pill, mind you. Overdrive, overdrive, overdrive. If he sends me an all-out DT rush, I get up a attack zone, I boost, use Gwentin ability. We have plans. Looks like they have preemptive up, so they're good against D they're good against DTs, basically. Well, also I'm just not gonna send them because I'm not I'm waiting. Wait, can preemptive strike defend infinite ZMGs? Probably not, right? I wanna send I wanna send infinite ZMGs round 30 and see if preemptive strike defends. I, that's actually gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. Obviously I can kill all them with other stuff, but I wanna see how well it does. I wanna see how well it does. And it's an infinite ZMG rush. Cause that would look that would look insane if it just like shoots like a million missiles, you know what I'm saying? That would look insane. All right, let's get this to uh, Icicle and Pale here pretty soon, because I'm scared. I'm scared of rushes, to be honest, guys. Another one, another one, another one, another one. You can fit so many tax shooters around here. It's actually kind of nuts how many tax shooters you can fit. We should get a t so much money this round. Look at this. I'm at 14,000. Now I'm at 81,000 with sell. Okay, let's, let's do it, boys. Infinite ZMG is at preemptive strike. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's, he's turning them into BFBs here. He's turning them into BFBs. I'm going to keep sending, though. I'm going to keep sending. The Mad's popping stuff down. The Preemptive Strike can't handle, dude. The Preemptive Strike gets over overrun. The more you know. The Bin ability, though. The Bin ability just went absolutely in there, dude. <gasps> Look at their side! He's saying, wow, that's insane, dude. That's literally insane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button down below. Ryan Malik out. Peace, lads.